All right, Seaton, now it's time to play one of your favorite games, Kid Icarus. And uh, Ray's gonna play this for you. Yay! Good oh boy, games have come a long way, haven't they? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is probably one of my earliest games that I ever played, but uh, it's, I just always loved the mythology of it. So you're, you're Pit, mm. and you are working your way out of the underworld to fight Medusa. So, uh, I mean, this is all stuff that I learned like, like a year ago. I didn't know this when I was playing. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't have Wikipedia back no. then. <laughs> but, you know, you had your, your, you know, your cartridge and your, maybe you read the instruction books, but if you're a kid, you probably didn't, and I didn't read them. So I actually had no idea what was happening, except that you just had to go up and shoot these sort of like blue prawn things. There is nothing out. in this room. This is the worst like secret room I've ever seen in a video <laughs> the first, game. The first like, room in this, there is never anything in here. It makes no sense that you can go in there. It's uh, teaching you early on, just don't bother <laughs> exploring. You can actually get a credit card later on in this game, so you can buy stuff from the, the shop clerk. Um, <laughs> what, in without, heaven or wherever he comes from? Well, yeah, Star yeah. World. So he's in hell right now. In, like, in, hey, oh, don't, what? Uh, you, you know, if you press down on those things that I... <laughs> oh. I'm finished. <laughs> now you gotta start from the start. That's it for me. I'm back here again. <laughs> well, one of the one of the great things about this game is in the in in one of the because so it's like three levels and then a castle level, like mm. a dungeon level, and in the dungeon levels there are these eggplant men, and all they they're just like these weird like anthropomorphic eggplants, and they throw eggplants at you. And if you well, get, that just seems barbaric and inhumane to their own kind. Ancient, times. ancient Greece. These are flying noses and eyes and moustaches, which they also had back in ancient Greece. But there is no point to that room. Like, you just <laughs> kill everything, and then it's empty. And then you just leave. I'm gonna die. Glass of wine. That's a glass of wine, so the glass of wine will, will replenish your health. Um, so we're encouraging underage drinking. Get the ah, wine, get the wine, ah, get the wine! I'm trying to get the wine! Oh no! <laughs> Uh, he's already in hell. Yeah, so that's true. Doesn't have to go far. In a way, Seaton, I like to think we're all in hell right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a that's a lot of wine. Are they kidding? They're hammers. They're hammers. Don't oh, press down. This is like the live die repeat with Tom Cruise. <laughs> you know what else um, irritates me is that how you know, like with Super Mario Brothers, the film, how Nintendo got burned by that. Like they hated, like they hated what they did with it, and that you know, fair enough. But um, now they just won't make any film adaptations of any of their games. Because I know they were trying to make a... Uh... Netflix Zelda live action series coming. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. What, what do you make mm. of that, right? Uh... You look so stressed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm always a bit apprehensive when there's live action versions of anything video gamey. I don't know. Adaptations have never been my favourite thing. Will Link be a child in the in the in the show? I don't know. Will he talk? It's another question. I'm hoping that. <laughs> I'm yeah, hoping it's that just going to be mute. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that really or, Californian accent too. Or just every other character is really pushy and so he <laughs> keeps going to talk and they interrupt him. Is that in everyday life? Oh. <laughs> Look at that. The scary thing is, I heard, I don't know if it's true or not, but that the batteries and cartridges are uh, going to like run out soon. Like, and then you won't be able to save anymore. Oh, wow. Unless you like do a, like a, oh, back in the room. Unless you do like a, like a... It's, I know, I know that you keep going in that room, Ray, but I, every time you go in there, I also expect to see something in there. The funny thing is, you could play this game over and over and over until all those things were just drilled into you. And then you'd be terrible at all other games. <laughs> yeah. Are they, are, they oh, meant no! to, oh, are they meant to be blue roses in the background of that? Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. If you want to hear more from these two, and me, and Carlo. You can see us all on Wednesday, March 25th at the Giant Dwarf Theatre with Bonus Stage. As far as we uh, we know, it's the first ever live gaming talk show on stage in Sydney. So come along to that. We're gonna have great guests, John Roscopoulos, and music from the wonderfully talented Benny Davis. And Benny, uh, you're looking forward to playing us some sweet gaming tunes? Yeah, yes, definitely. Um, but see, the thing is, a lot of people know us best from you know our music and comedy, which we're going to be sharing a lot of at the show. But uh, I thought I'd take the opportunity to talk a little bit about Candy Crush. Uh, I don't know if anybody knows, but I am actually uh, the Australian representative of the upcoming Asia Pacific tournament for Candy Crush, and I want to talk a little bit about a friend of mine called Otis. Now, I know a lot of people give a lot of grief to Otis the Owl. Um, there's a lot of forums that you can go to where people will just be ragging on him, and I feel like he's almost uh, Candy Crush's Skylar White of Breaking Bad. There's a lot of undue hate. <laughs> Well, 
like a, a Buddhist philosophy of trying to establish that sometimes the easiest route is not necessarily...